Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back for the second time today. Uh, earlier in my Crash Bandicoot stream, I mentioned probably wanting to get back to streaming some of this, just for a little while. Anyways, uh, this is not really necessarily an indication as to how much I'll be streaming Fortnite. I just kind of thought it sounded like fun, and I would use this as the uh, perfect opportunity to kind of play with my, uh, my stream settings. So... Uh, if you're watching this in the future, please check the description. Um, I kind of give you a rundown of what I changed. And b simply by watching this video, you can compare this video to the first Fortnite stream that I had streamed. And know that in this video's description, I laid out the uh, specifications of, uh, you know, bit rates I used. And the resolutions, and you can kind of get a, a clear grasp on the difference in quality and uh, hopefully be able to apply that same logic to your own uh, streams. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into a match. Now I, I just noticed that two people had uh, just chimed in, popped in, um, refer to the stream, uh, the screen, uh, stream, stream description, excuse me. My uh, my tongue is in a twist right now, but anyways, I just got done kind of explaining that this is kind of a, a test to see how I feel about pushing the upper limit of my stream quality. When internet service providers are kind of dodgy and they provide a not so consistent and rather low uh, upload speed, it's really hard to push the limit because if you go overboard, you guys will experience buffering. Um, as far as I can tell, YouTube thinks the stream is quite healthy. It's been eating its green vegetables, so that's awesome. And we have three. Hoping some of you guys who are still uh, sticking around to kind of explain to people as they come in maybe what the stream might be about, maybe would be really awesome for you guys to do is uh, let me know if you experience buffering. If you experience any kind of problems, um, reason being is I want to be able to maximize the quality of my streams without compromising uh, the experience of the viewer. Because of course, uh, 360p just does not cut it. It just does not. Anyways, uh, like. I guess I uh, quit talking about the technical stuff and just kind of enjoy myself uh, playing some uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Actually, one of the reasons, I hate to go back to it, but why the description is so long in this live stream is actually... Uh, kind of inspired by a uh, YouTuber who stopped by earlier in my earlier stream. Kind of, uh, I, I got a little encouraged to uh, maybe provide a little bit of research and uh, stats about I guess I don't know, we, we kind of talked about how the idea would sound if I were to upload a video explaining how to optimize. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can definitely tell uh, we're off to a great start. Someone is sniping. So. Oh, fuck. I'm going to take the small ones first. Oh, I see him. Motherfucker. Trying to use a frickin' hunting rifle. Okay. Yeah. 
So we're off to an interesting start here. I hope all that was captured uh, with excellent quality. I really do. Because... Eh, anyway, right here. I am not the best builder. In fact, I play most of my matches without building. So before any of y'all actually say, You should build. You should learn how to do it quicker. I'm actually not really interested in building in this game. Since everybody else seems to build, I don't need to. Because if they're putting a wall and the line of sight between, uh, I guess, obviously the, the foul uh, perpetrator and I, they're doing, they're doing me a favor too. Because they're building cover, I don't need to do that. So that's just uh, something you should probably be aware of is that if you're not a fast builder, don't even worry about it. If you enjoy building, do it. Sure. Who cares? But I think uh, this game can be won without building much. I mean, it's nice to know how to actually build a ladder or a staircase to get... Okay, where's the sound coming from? I'm hoping you guys are also receiving both channels of audio. Probably. Yeah, I figured. Something about this game is that, for whatever reason, if you break the floor in which uh, the the chest is on, it just it's just gone. Ugh. You know what? I'll stop being lazy. Okay. Kidding me? That was garbage. Okay, we about have about like three minutes to get to where we need to be. Not the best, but uh, not the worst. Oh, we're we're like right there. We're fine. Okay. So. As always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, those of you who are watching. Um, good times. It's good times to be able to uh, try it out, try out the uh, 720p streaming. I don't see YouTube complaining about uh, stream health. The bar has been green for quite a while. So... Yeah. One thing I will stress, uh, that's, it's quite important with winning uh, any Battle Royale match, is to not... I guess don't enter the, uh, the safety circle uh, when you don't need to. I guess what I'm saying is don't put yourself in harm when you don't need to. Don't unnecessarily put yourself where everybody else is trying to go. In fact, one of my favorite strategies, and it's a, a highly effective strategy, is to kind of uh, hang out with the, the border of the storm. Because, let's face it, let's say you played your entire match in the center of the safe circle, this white circle that I'm looking at. I'm just going to call it the safe circle. Um, if you're playing your entire match in the very center of that, you will have to fend off close to uh, 100 people. I mean, it, given that other people don't take each other out, and using the 80% or the 80-20 the rule, 80% 80 of players probably die within the first 20% of... No, wait, that doesn't sound right. I kind of forget what kind of reasonable uh, numbers I came up with, but I would say that a good high percentage of uh, players, whether it's actually 80% of players, they die within the the very first part of the game. Oh, I see someone. Ah. Oh, fuck. 
yeah, this, uh, by the way, guys, channel is not, uh, not for all audiences. Oh my god. That was intense. Um Wow. Uh Kind of counting my lucky stars there. Cool. I'm not really like what I would consider to be the best at this game. Ooh, a light machine gun, I'll take that. Um, I will take that, actually. Make sure that nobody's, uh... Oh, shit, we have quite a ways to go. Okay, I will take that. Ammo. Whee! Okay, and, um... Uh, yeah, so that was a a major bonus. Let's just keep our uh, eyes peeled for any you know scavenging uh, I guess contenders of the Fortnite world. I'm hearing a lot of shenanigans. So if you guys uh, end up hearing that over the microphone, I do apologize. Seems to be uh. What's going on in the background is something called real life. It happens. Can't really... I think I hear something. I'm sorry. God, I, I, I hear... Let me get kind of next to this tree and I'll adjust my volume. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I have to take my... Uh, left hand um, off my controller to actually adjust the, the volume wheel on my headset because that's uh, primarily how I adjust my volume for listening. Because in this game I think it's actually quite important that you pay attention to the acoustics and the change in acoustics because having at least two channels of audio will help you identify exactly kind of where that sound's coming from and it's nothing new. Most uh, game engines by now can produce global sound and sound uh, local to the camera you know in terms of like I guess how far away the sound is where the sound is you know in, in terms of direction Oh, uh, this looks kind of sketch in this area. I'm going to kind of hang out this area. Keep my eyes peeled for any of those kind of, uh, I don't know, impromptu uh, staircase building events. Sure, that nobody's in here either. That's actually something I didn't think about. But if we see a head pop up, we will, we will destroy you. Yeah. Well, hello there. Oh, fuck. I hear him. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. I'm going on this tree. Uh -huh. Oh fuck. Um, semi-auto. Sorry, health, but I play sometimes offensively when it comes to sniper. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Actually, I lost him. Uh, 
God, I can't tell. You know what? I'm kind of in the circle anyways. I can probably hang out here. Kind of uh, just keep my cool in this little area. I shouldn't even have to move. I'm kind of near the edge. Which is another strong point, guys. Um, this is something you can't always control, but you can always do something about. Depending on where the uh, the storm closes in. But if, if something like this happens, where you are in this, uh, the safe circle... And this, uh, I guess the, how do I put that? Oh, I see someone. Uh, probably get my sniper ready. Oh, he's building a freaking roof. He doesn't matter. I guess the point what I'm trying to make is uh, pay attention to the shape of the circle. Notice how the safe circle is almost in tangent uh, with the larger circle. What the hell do I hear? Oh god. Okay. Oh, what? That's bullshit. That was bullshit. Yeah, I don't, uh... I, I, I just... No. Absolutely not. That's bullshit. Look at this guy building all his towers and shit. Okay, well... Again, you're not invul uh, invulnerable. Excuse me. There's always there'll always be a time where someone outguns you, or pretty much just I guess pops you in the head. Cause that I I just, that's bullshit. But anyways, uh, let's do a couple more matches. Maybe I'll do a 50 versus 50 if that's still on there. Anyways, yeah. So uh, hope you guys are enjoying your stay. I hope uh, what I have to say is kind of educating you a little bit about uh, both streaming quality while simultaneously sharing uh, my Battle Royale tips. This, this does apply to um, PUBG as well, because if the concept is the same, um, generally speaking, if you have to close in on a circle, don't be the guy in the center. Anyways, um, that aside, it may be a little different in PUBG because of the... I forgot what they're called, but if it, you sometimes you get, you know, like a... Like a little, uh... Gee, I don't even know what it's called, but... If bombs start dropping, a red zone? Is, I think, is that it? A red zone? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Laugh at me if I'm wrong, I don't care. Um, but you guys get what I'm talking about. Those red circles that if you're inside, bombs have a chance of drop, uh, dropping randomly. Yeah, so the... It might not work, but again, I think you should treat everything that you hear as merely an opinion, and, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. I turn my volume down. I can't do that with, uh, dang it. It's getting a little too loud for my liking, so there we go. There we are. Another tip. Don't uh, don't dive directly over your uh, destination. Try to uh, land in that kind of particular spot that would uh, put you in the perfect position to land exactly where you need to be. Like for example, I aim just shy of this house so that by the time I reach it, I'm at the front door. That will put you ahead of competition almost every time all right and do something uh very assholeish of me
kind of easily preventing the, uh... Oh wait, I don't want to do that one. What am I thinking? Alright, so... Well, I'm, while I am down to one viewer, I just want to thank you, the remaining survivor. Hope you're, uh, at least enjoying, uh, my commentary. It seems to me, it strikes me that you are a rather uh, intelligent individual and that you kind of appreciate, I, I guess, less obnoxious streamers. Like, um, you know, if you were to pick any of the popular, uh, and when I say popular, I'm talking about like, you know, Markiplier, uh, PewDiePie, those guys, it, it almost seems like they would, uh, I guess, draw maybe a more sporadic, childish, uh, kind of audience, if that makes sense. I'm not going to try to claim that what I say is a fact, but I, uh, my videos are not very high energy. I mean, you will see me when I get pissed, but... Hello? Yeah, I'm just, I'm not one of those kind of people that goes for the cheap yelling in the microphone and, uh, no, I just, I just don't like that. In fact, I have no interest even watching people who do that. I will take that. I will take that. Oh, we have a little... Okay, we don't have that far to go. Perfect. Matter of fact, though... Yeah, so, uh, you guys are currently watching this on a Nintendo Switch, or at least I'm playing this game on a Nintendo Switch. It performs exceptionally well. Uh, I have no complaints. In fact, it doesn't even bother me in the slightest that, you know, practically every, every popular game uh, is on the Switch is played at uh, 30 frames per second. That does not bother me. It does not. If you are playing a game to enjoy the game, and you like the game, and it's enjoyable, you know, frame rate should have nothing to do with it. Now, I would say the opposite if the frame rate was something unbearable. Like, I'm talking 10 frames a second, 15 frames a second. It'd be kind of obnoxious and embarrassing, you know? That the developers couldn't actually work hard enough to get a better frame rate than that, but honestly, this whole, uh, you know, it's not 60 frames a second is actually kind of a stupid argument. You know, we've spent maybe most of our gaming history. I, I mean, not even me. I'm speaking for people who are a generation or two older than me who have played video games that um, perhaps maybe have ran at different frame rates or perhaps even only limited to games that have only run at you know, like, two frames a second, because the, the game that they're playing is actually like a, you know, you click the arrow key and you move over a, a tile or something. Like the, the first Wolfenstein. The very, very first Wolfenstein game. Someone left here. I hear a duck. They've been adding all sorts of those things, like around the map, like the gna uh, <laughs> the gnomes, the gnomes, the garden gnomes. Um, now they're ducks. 
Yeah. I, I just don't understand it. But, no big deal. Actually, I, I see something gold over there. Can't tell what that is. Maybe that's just the logo on the, the truck over there? Not quite certain. However. We will kind of hang loose a little bit, so I'm sorry if it could if it gets boring. Uh, in fact, I implore anybody who who watches this to actually engage in conversation because, you know, it's not fun just watching me camp here, but I actually absolutely do love talking to people over the internet. It's kind of one of the most amazing things about it. The fact that I can play a game and share the experience that I, you know, originally had in front of a TV with people who actually had to physically knock on the door and hang out. The fact that I could do that over the internet. So, you know, if whatever's on the screen gets boring, say hey, start a conversation, maybe ask a few questions. And if you're watching this in the future, obviously you can't, uh, you can't really have a conversation with me, but you can, you can start one in the comments and I would love to reply and then interact with my community. It's, uh, wow, circle's already right over here. Let's pay attention to this side of the map. I have a feeling that people might start poking their heads out over here. I don't know, I'm at kind of a disadvantage because I don't have any kind of scoped weapon. Kind of sad if you ask me. No big deal. But I think the key here, one of my favorite things to do, don't move. Like, kind of stay still because I think one of the most things we're keen to in terms of our eyesight is, you know, changes in your, your visual, uh, well, that was a bit of a stretch. I was trying to over-engineer that sentence, but turns out eyes are uh, good at detecting motion. So if you stay still, you're less likely to be spotted than someone who's just running across the map, you know. However, however, yeah, I'm, what I'm trying to say is uh, if you have to run, run, do it. If you are running away from fire, like if someone's shooting at you, um, don't stay still. Don't run in one direction, one predictable, you know, straight line without jumping. But also, don't constantly jump. Sporadically change directions. Don't do anything predictable. And seem random. Because if you run in random directions, and you kind of just, you know, I don't know, I'll say throw a coal, uh, coal, curve ball at the person who's trying to snipe you, for that matter, they're not going to want to try and hit you when you they can't even predict where you'll be, you know? It works a good number of the time, actually, so... Or a good percentage of the time, I should say. So yeah. Y'all. In fact, I want to say that uh, one of the advantages of playing on the Nintendo Switch is actually, uh, quite frankly, the draw distance, the, the rendering. Because at a certain point, shadows are not drawn uh, in real time. They use kind of, like, for example, use this tree over here. The tree that's uh, underneath my crosshair doesn't have a rendered shadow like this. So people hiding can be seen easier. Um, in fact, when you're looking across the map and you see a little black dot moving at all, it's guaranteed to be a person because nothing else moves in this game on its own except for maybe like objects that are falling. 
But I'd figure it helps someone out. Hmm. Great. Oh, I crossed the fucking map. We might see some more faces over here, though. The fact that, that I saw someone jump or fall or something. Oh! There's an individual. I don't even know how to put it. All I can say is, don't be a fucking dumbass. Not when there's like, only 15 other people. Ooh, her sniper. Um, oh, what can I hang out here? I feel like... This might be a good spot, kind of. Wait, I did not mean for that to happen. I need to see if I need to reload, actually. Okay. Okay, I have to kind of cross the map in this direction. I'm gonna probably start heading out um, when there's five seconds left on this warning clock, so yeah. I feel like I hear something. Uh, we'll kind of get moving a little bit. Also, another big mistake is not being aware of your surroundings. Now, I know you can't see every single thing, but occasionally turn around. Occasionally. Just, just occasionally. Especially when you have an advantage in terms of... Uh, you know, like, height advantage. Also pay attention to where you might be possibly hearing sounds come from. And take cover. All I really have to say is, don't be a dumbass. We might be having close quarters right here. Oh, yes. Um, we got very lucky right there. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. If there's anybody who's trying to outrun the storm, we would probably see them here right anywhere right around now. Actually, we're outside the storm. We need to be in this a little more. Oh. Wow, that is a great spot. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna block out... this. Also... I heard something. Sorry, guys. Give myself a little cover. Okay. And that's how it's done. Got myself a little base. Got a place to hang out. I'm probably ready my uh my gun. Make sure that all these sides are pretty good.
So yeah, there's um, there's only five other players. That six includes myself. That number just below the map, meaning that there are five other players out there that kind of sort of want me dead. Yeah, it's a scary thought. Kind of want to check out what's uh in that. Uh, this guy running running around Bring it on, bitch. see anybody trying to stay very still so sorry guys if uh, this is kind of boring you're just seeing kind of where my camera is positioned but yeah I think if we stay maybe right here any indication of a sniper we're gonna have to bolt we're gonna have to run but there's still five other people out there and these are the kind of people that are... Well, now we have four other people. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh, there's a very good chance that we will get Victory Royale. All we have to do is just pretend like we're not here. All we have to do but yeah, guys, uh, you follow this kind of uh, simple set of rules. Basically not putting yourself in any danger that you don't need to. Whoa! Oh, there's one other person. I see him. We're going to take him on. Perfect position, too. All right. I'm going to watch all sides of this. Make sure he doesn't run off. Because the funny thing is, is he's going to have to come to the center too. So. I don't know where he's facing. I am literally over here. Literally. See, the thing is, why, why I'm staying put for as long as I can is only because if he chooses to do something stupid, I have the advantage because I'm watching him. He's looking around. The reason why I don't build at all 
in situations like this is uh, obviously it, it'll tell him he's, oh this will be fun he's getting right up there oh wait no I gave myself away Whoa! Still has armor. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, wow. I really got my, uh, my heart rate up. It's kind of intense when you're just like in some kind of, you know, battle like that with one other person. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. But yeah, uh, congratulations. One C I M C S P I C or one C. Icy McSpicy, probably. Yeah, enjoy the win. See, the thing is about this is that I think the fun part is just being able to get into battles like that because when you're in the top 5, 80% of your games, that tells you you're doing something right. Now, I'm not trying to claim to know everything about this game. In fact, there are a lot of people playing longer than me. But generally, uh, the idea is... Don't actually put yourself in a situation where you're asking for trouble. Use the uh, the storm wall to kind of push you in. And hello, what is this? A dog, uh, dog bull emote. Interesting. I probably have one more match in me. Uh, I think I'm going to do 50, uh, 50 versus 50. That's always fun to watch. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, 50, uh, it's really hard to say, it's kind of a tongue twister if you say it real fast, but 50v50, um, interesting game mode where, just like as it sounds, 50 people on one team, 50 people on another team, it actually gets quite, uh, quite fun, so, honestly, I say screw all these markers, I, I personally don't care. Red Mender, thank you for uh, saying hi. How are you doing today? <laughs> I can't believe I'm only like uh, 45 minutes in, and uh, you're the only person brave enough to actually, you know, throw a hi. Like I'm, I'm a real person. I'm, uh, you know, I, I do this in my free time. I voluntarily stream, but for my own sake, I actually like it. It's kind of fun, but uh, I just think it's kind of funny that, uh, for whatever reason, sometimes I'll have like visitors that hang out and never say anything. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's actually it's all right. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Now, Tuck Dog. Woo. So yeah, 50 v 50. Uh, this will be interesting. Chances are we'll probably get all the gear we need though. The more we close in on the the center of the circle. 
Oh god, it's way over there. Okay, you know what? This might be an entire game. Yeah, you know what? I, I do kind of figure that sometimes I, I think that maybe the visitor might be like a crawler, you know, indexing my video. Maybe. I, I tend to try not uh, to think that. I like to pretend like they're just people with a, uh, you know, I don't know, people who, uh, you know, listen and watch more than they talk, which is actually kind of what I do when I'm not in the spotlight of a stream, because obviously right now if, if I uh, streamed without talking or saying anything, it'd be kind of boring. However, I, I, I really, really encourage conversation, and I think uh, it's quite wonderful that you uh, chimed in. We're going to be running for a while, so figure I might as well uh, might as well uh, just uh, open the uh, the floodgate of uh, conversation. Hopefully, I mean, I honestly I don't have anything to talk about except for the game and maybe the stream quality stuff like that. If you're a streamer yourself, uh, there's a little gift for you in the description if you're struggling with kind of some of the things that uh, might seem difficult to get right in terms of uh, stream quality. I know when I was first starting, I had a terrible time. Do I have a win? Like, uh, like, like have I ever won? Are you asking, like, uh, have I ever won in Fortnite? Unless you're, like, talking about, like, a, a Windows box. Like, yes, of course I have wins. I have actually quite a few of them. In fact, my first ever stream, the first ever Fortnite stream I've ever done in front of people, I got Victory Royale. Um, you can actually take a look at that if you're bored and uh, the stream's over. The very first game I play. So you don't you don't even have to move around. You can just watch the first game I play. Uh, I got a Victory Royale on that game. Um, I get them quite often uh, in solo. I don't uh, I don't really play in squads or duos because without strong communication, it will be worse than just doing it on your own. But that's just me. I uh, I prefer solo matches or 50 v 50. That's always fun. Seeing like hell breakout with like tons of other players is actually quite fun to watch. <laughs> we have a bush. Whee! Oh, if you play on Xbox, that means uh, most certainly not uh, most certainly not restricted to one platform. It's kind, of, it's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, Nintendo and uh, Microsoft are kind of working together to corner Sony in terms of crossplay. I love it. I don't have any good weapons. You know what? Who's down? I don't see the plus. Oh, he's up here. In fact, I don't know if you were here for the ending of last match, but I came in second place. I was just, uh, I think, a, a little bit outnumbered in terms of armor and health. The person won because he was kind of decked out, I would say. He had a lot more armor and health. I didn't even have any armor, I don't think. Woo! Check out this area. Let's see if we have any. Oh, thank God! There's a rifle. I'll do that. All right. Oh, whoa! Kind of scared me. Oh, I will take all of that. 
Um, don't need this anymore. So, I mean, it, it, it's debatable. I can't disagree only because I don't have a PS4. So, I can't necessarily argue it. But, uh, I could say that, you know, maybe people who are playing on Sony, maybe there's some kind of, you know, correlation between, you know, people who are dedicated, you know, and their ability to play uh, with each other. Maybe the fact that Sony, you know, having like some kind of party system where you can uh, better connect and communicate with people probably is true. I mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh, we're looking this way. We're going to be facing this way. Hello, boxes. <laughs> that's a that's a nice observation, though. You know, I don't I've I've actually skipped the whole uh, Xbox One and PS4 generation because at the very end of the the last generation's life cycle like PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, I bought a PS3. I was one of the last people to actually buy a PS3. And the reason why I didn't buy a, uh, a the next-gen consoles is because I feel like it's the same thing over again. You just buy an expensive box, you put in your, your media or you download it, you play a game, you have fun for a while, and that's it. I wanted something new. When the Switch came out and I saw Breath of the Wild, I'm actually a huge Zelda fan, by the way. I love Zelda. But, uh... Yeah, I just... I, I feel like the Switch was really doing something different. To be able to play games, at least in my opinion, considered to be like non-mobile games like Breath of the Wild on the go, that's a huge uh, technological uh, advancement. That is something uh, worth you know, being proud of, you know, for a company to release a handheld like the Nintendo Switch. It's amazing. And I bought it. I do not have a Wii U. No, I I just when uh, the Wii U came out, I was actually just moving out on my own. Uh, money was tight. I just couldn't really spend uh, you know my money on some of the the newer things coming out. Lucky for me though, because the Wii U didn't really do so hot. It's not to say that it wasn't a cool thing though. One of my roommates actually won one. I offered to allow him to plug it into my TV in the living room, but he just kind of hung out by himself in his room and instead played by himself. But that's not a big deal, really. Um, you know, I mean, to each his own. If you like uh, playing consoles by yourself, you know, my roommates are... More than happy to. Got a couple blows on him. Alright. Okay, we have to... Although Mario Maker? Jeez. I... I am constantly wishing for it to come out on the Switch, because... I love games like that.
<laughs> yeah. Um, Mario Maker is a very, very cool thing. I never played it myself, but I am well aware of what it is. And I wish Mega Man had the same thing on uh, the Nintendo Switch, but of course, you know, if you've ever heard of Mega Maker or Mega Man Maker, it's PC only. Uh, we only have four left. see anybody clearly we are winning this match um yeah actually I'm a, I'm very excited for the next smash game very What, I eliminated someone? Are you kidding? I killed someone in there? How did I... I seriously gassed someone? Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. That was a kind of uneventful, uh... <laughs> trick shot. We'll take that. Oh, dang. That is too late. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, the, the game wasn't as intense as I thought it would be. Cause sometimes games get, like, wicked intense where people have, like, massive forts and, you know, just shotguns galore. But, you know, it is what it is. However, Red Mender, um... I think that's about all I have in me today for Fortnite uh, streaming that. I'm kind of excited to let the video process and actually review it um, to see the quality and see if it's something I like. Um, from what it looks like, there were no hiccups in the stream. It looked like there were no buffering issues at all. So I'm kind of happy about that. I hope you didn't experience any. And um, I appreciate that. I appreciate you uh, subscribing. And, you know, I, I'm i kind of slowly getting back into doing some re uh, regular streams. I just take breaks every now and then. Sometimes I lose interest and I don't sub every, or I sub, I don't stream every day. Sometimes I might go a few weeks without streaming. Um, but don't assume that, uh, don't assume that I'm like never, uh, or I'm like gonna disappear or something. Oh, thanks for letting me know, by the way, that you didn't, uh, receive any lag. That's nice. That's, that's good to hear. Brian EZ. Welcome, man. Uh, unfortunately, kind of at the end of the stream, but I do encourage you to maybe hang out and uh, see what streams are about. I'm actually about to kill the stream. I just wanted to thank you, Red Mender and Brian EZ, for both uh, at least chiming in, stopping by. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And to those who are watching this video in the future, I want to thank you as well. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section about the, the stream quality and what I did to change it. Uh, definitely compare this game, or this stream, to my last Fortnite stream to get an idea of what I changed. And, you know, guys, super grateful that you are here saying hi. And uh, it makes me smile. So it's definitely encouraging for me to want to do that again. Thank you both and whoever else was here. Anyways, guys, hope you have a wonderful night. See you later.